A New York congressman got in trouble last month by posing this question, quote, Who the hell wants to live in Mississippi? Charles Rangel later expressed regret for insulting a state that gets insulted a lot. And as it happens, a Mississippi public relations firm wants people to insult Mississippi a little less. Rick Lucer is the president of the CELO Agency, the firm that launched the campaign to change the state's image, and he joins us from Jackson in Mississippi. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Good morning. Let's be frank about the downside here. Mississippi has low rankings for education, for health, uh, for income. What are people missing? Well, I think we're still being kept in a time warp of what our image is like. Nobody would want to be, as a 45-year-old, remembered strictly for what they were like in college. And uh, although we don't deny the uh, atrocities of civil rights that happened in the past, unfortunately, that's become all we've been known for in Mississippi. The civil rights uh, issue, although people do also talk about the poverty and education and so forth. Well, sure. You know, we're not whistling by the graveyard and that we know that we're uh, last on most every good list and first on every bad list. But one of our ads points out we're first on a list that nobody would expect. Well, let's talk about these advertisements that you have put together here. I'm looking at one. It's got a bunch of photographs on it of famous people, Tennessee Williams, Willie Morris, well-known authors here, William Faulkner, Eudora Welty. What are you trying to say here? Well, the headline of that ad is, uh, yes, we can read. A few of us can even write. (laughs) And, you know, any time I travel north of the Mason-Dixon line and end up in one of my clients' uh, social setting, then inevitably it gets to, well, you sure do have a funny accent. Where are you from? And I say, well, I live in Mississippi. And they go, oh, uh, well, I see you wore shoes tonight. Or, uh, great, you could actually follow the instructions and read well enough to know where this event was being held tonight. Mm. And usually, you know, it's in it's in good fun, but by the same token, uh, that was where we started. Let me ask about this poster that has pictures of native Mississippians, Oprah Winfrey, Elvis Presley, Faith Hill, Jim Henson, James Earl Jones, and several others. What's the slogan here? Hog calling, no monster trucks, no tractor pulls, no world-class entertainers, yes. Mm. And what we're trying to get across there is that we do have for our size, a disproportionate amount of icons who have contributed to to our pop culture. I wonder if this gets to why some Mississippians are uneasy about what you're doing here, because I imagine if you went around Mississippi, you would find a number of people who are quite in favor of hog calling tractor pulls or monster trucks. (laughs) Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I, that's not to deny our roots of uh, you, you get a good tractor pull or a monster truck event in any coliseum and in, in really the South in general. And, yeah, you can probably sell it out. But, uh, you know, for too long, we've been pigeonholed into that's the only thing about us. I mean, Mississippians are, are much more complex than just the normal stereotype. Rick Lucer is president of the CELO Agency in Jackson, Mississippi. Thanks very much. Thank you so much.